WSAZ News Channel 3, 10 o'clock. West Virginia's Republican supermajority House of Delegates swiftly okayed a proposal to add mental health exemptions to a bill that would ban certain health care for transgender youth during the last day of its 60-day legislative session on Saturday. And as News Channel 3's political reporter Curtis Johnson explains, this would implement new restrictions on those under 18. Gender-altering surgery and medication taken a major hit Saturday for teenagers and children in West Virginia as state lawmakers passed a proposal to greatly limit access to that type of health care. The issue hotly contested by opponents at a public hearing in February. And I'm here to denounce HB 2007 for the evil that it is. The legislation would prohibit gender-altering medication and surgery to most anyone under age 18. Saturday's vote coming one day after the Senate's majority leader led an effort to protect hormonal therapy for certain children, those with severe gender dysphoria. There was a, up to a 70% reduction in suicide. I mean, that's, that's that in itself uh, should say enough, but the fact that these kids get their life back, I mean. Delegates took up the Senate amendment Saturday. Lawmaker and pharmacist Rick Griffith underscoring the importance of that amendment. Which is more important, these children or how we're perceived by our voters. And the lives of these children are critical for us to protect, and this is a very narrow um, allowance for their... But that amendment still too narrow for 10 delegates, all Democrats, who voted against the proposal. These are impossible problems for parents to deal with, and I think that the, that the bill itself shows an insensitivity. You know, we, we need to be supportive of people who are different, who, have, who are born different. The Senate Majority Leader contending the legislation is about protecting children, both in prohibiting gender-altering surgery and protecting therapy for those who need it most. So, so what people have in mind when they, when they hear this, and it is a very confusing topic, is that you're just giving these, these drugs to confused uh, teenagers so that they can try to transition from one sex to another, and that is not what we did in this bill. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Charleston. Now, the bill now heads to the governor. The 60-day regular session is set to end at midnight tonight.